Hey everyone, uh, we're talking about Breath of the Wild 2 today, the sequel, because there's some new information that's been floating out there that actually suggests that Breath of the Wild 2 is coming pretty soon, uh, a lot sooner than you might expect. Now before I get into this information and why it all connects, uh, I want to remind you we are giving away a copy of Monster Hunter Rise, as well as two $20 Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, or Xbox gift cards. That's right, three winners for this month. To enter those giveaways, head on down to the description or the pinned comment uh, and click on the uh, link to enter. So good luck, and let's get into this amazing stuff. So when talking about Breath of the Wild 2 lately and speculating, obviously, on release dates, you know, the rumors that have been out there about it being late 2021, early 2022, some people telling me that they kind of expect it to possibly be like an end of 2022 game. Essentially, people are giving it about an 18-month timetable sometime in those 18 months to come out. So essentially, any time from the summer all the way through uh, the end of 2022, which is when some people really expect it to show up. Kind of sort of skipping the 35th anniversary of Zelda altogether. Maybe because there was a pandemic going on, so Nintendo could have lost almost a year of development in there somewhere and lead to delays like many other games are being delayed. Heck, we just had a leak for Elden Ring occur, which looked amazing, but it was from over a year ago that this you know trailer footage stuff came from. And we have no idea how much progress was really made in that game in the last year because of the pandemic. So we might not even see that game this year, despite the fact that they obviously had some footage ready to show to investors before. So what I really am talking about here is when can you expect Breath of the Wild 2 to release? And we have some information on this that is very, very tantalizing. So this comes from, well, who's becoming kind of a resident uh, source here for Zelda information in Game Over Jesse. He was on our recent episode of Nintendo Prime podcast last week, so why don't you go uh, check out that episode and click up here if you haven't seen it yet. Here's the thing. He has a source that contacted him, and the source claims to be a writer for Nintendo of America, and he has said that localization for Breath of the Wild 2 has been in the works for some time. Now, for localization to be in the works... That typically happens towards the end of a game's development cycle. It doesn't mean the game is done per se. Obviously, there's still probably some polishing to do um, and some other stuff that they might, might add, but that means the scripting is done. And typically, when the scripting is done, it the, the whole game is probably playable from beginning to end at least. Now, when you're in the localization stage at Nintendo of America, and obviously localization can take a little bit of time, after all, there is um, a number of languages to translate the game into, it is usually time to start thinking about getting voice acting done. So he has had a number of the Zelda voice actors on his, well, podcast and other videos, uh, including Sean Chiplock, who plays Rivali, Teba, and the Great Deku Tree, Patricia Somerset, who plays Princess Zelda, and Andy Gibson, who plays Old and Young Impa, and then obviously Joe Hernandez as Daruk. Man, I, lo I love the voice acting for Daruk. So the thing is, uh, he's interviewed all of these people in the past in regards to Age of Calamity and Breath of the Wild and their work on those games and what they're able to divulge. And what he learned is for both games, they essentially started the voice acting recordings around March of the years uh, that the games were intended to release and then ended in June. So it took you know a couple, a few months there to get all of the voice acting done. Now, this is important because while Breath of the Wild didn't release until 2017 in March, they actually had the voice acting done, or at least started, almost a year prior to that, meaning that the game technically probably could have launched in 2016 if the Switch was ready to launch in 2016. Obviously, they pushed the Switch back, not because they were waiting for Breath of the Wild, but because they wanted the launch lineup for the first year to really line up perfectly. And obviously, Splatoon 2, maybe even Mario Odyssey or other games needed a little bit more time in the oven to really launch align that lineup. So, that being said, uh, it's kind of cool that that happened. And obviously, with that happening with Age of Calamity, that means that, you know, 
you know, because because they confirmed, you know, voice acting uh, was fin finished up in June of last year. Age of Calamity released, you know, roughly five months later. So that can kind of give you a run up here. And they mentioned, you know, that hey, around the time localizations being done and almost completed is a is, is essentially when they start the voice acting. So the thing here is, if this source for Game Over Jesse is correct. That it's in localization and has been for some time, obviously dating back to late 2020 at least. That would suggest that they are going to start beginning voice recordings right now. Now, he's going to have these voice actors on in the future to interview them, but while they're presently doing work for the game, they don't do interviews. They uh, also are not going to answer any specific questions about the new game, anything they do know, because while well, obviously the first audition around, they weren't even sure who they were at the time, uh, what game they were doing it for until later in the voice acting uh, stage, they obviously now know the characters they're playing. You know, uh, you know, Patricia Somerset knows she's the voice of Princess Zelda now. Um, you know, you can't really, you know, if you're working for Nintendo, you can't really hide that fact for your voice acting. But uh, they're not, you know, under strict NDAs, and they're not going to be able to divulge when, when they're recording, what they're starting, you know, until long after the game releases. So at this point, we have to start wondering. When is Breath of the Wild 2 coming out? Well, if we look at the timetable of the last two games, when they started voice acting recording in March, which is around the end of the time that it took them to translate the game, and they finished voice recordings in June, and Breath of the Wild could have launched in 2016 and had a demo that had some semblance of voice acting at E3, it's possible that they're waiting to show off Breath of the Wild 2 until they have voice acting completed for the trailer and well that would make some sense that that could be one of the reasons why we haven't seen breath of the wild 2 since because obviously breath of the wild and age of calamity set up expectations for voice acting so it's possible that they wanted to wait to show the game again where they could show real cutscenes and real story elements that have full-on voice acting so this kind of leads you to believe that Breath of the Wild 2 could be shown off this summer at some point. Again, likely in August. Now, I know some people really think they're going to blow out the Zelda 35th anniversary before then. Uh, but we have to also consider that Skyward Sword HD is coming out. They are hyping that up. Uh, it is a game that both Shigeru Miyamoto and Eiji Nomo worked on. Shigeru Miyamoto actually came back to the Zelda series specifically for Skyward Sword to do work on it. So there is a lot to consider that maybe they want some runway with that game, especially if Skyward Sword, if some elements of that are present in Breath of the Wild too. In addition with voice acting recording possibly being you know fired up this month based on the localization timetable, well, that would mean that if Nintendo really wants to blow this game out, they're going to want to wait until they can include voice acting in their uh, in their media press materials. Even if you guys don't care if the voice acting's there, Nintendo probably would. They're not just going to keep showing off gameplay and then not show at least a tease of cutscenes with voice acting. They, they did this with Breath of the Wild back in 2016. They're going to do it again this year. So, uh, what this means is, Breath of the Wild 2, the sequel, could be ready to go literally this year. I know there's been rumors out there about late this year, delayed to 2022, but it could be ready to go based on the current timetable of voice acting and localization that we are being told from a source at Game Over Jesse that it could be ready to go literally this year. That is a lot sooner, I think, than some people are anticipating. I don't think a lot of people are thinking we're getting it this year, right? We have the Pokemon, uh, you know, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl coming out. Uh, obviously, with, with Legends, Arceus coming next year. Uh, we obviously know about Splatoon 3 coming next year. You know, would Zelda make sense in there? Actually, I might do a video soon on uh, a, a, a rough timetable on when Splatoon 3 is going to come, which is uh, quite interesting because I think some people uh, might think that's like a holiday game next year, but I don't think so. We'll get into that later. Uh, but this, is to me, is just really fascinating. And I'm glad that we have some idea, at least, of when to expect Breath of the Wild 2. Now, obviously, nothing is official until Nintendo announces it. There's no official release date. It still very much might be a 2022 title. But if this source is correct, which we don't know. I don't know. I didn't vet this source. I have no idea. Uh, but Game Over Jesse uh, is saying, hey, look, this is what this person said. This is what I know. These are the people I have talked to. And Game Over Jesse, by the way, for those that might doubt some of the things he says, he's not right 100% of the time. Nobody really is, except for that weird random leaker on Reddit. I don't, uh, how he has 100% track record beats me because nobody does. 
Not even Nate Drake has a 100% record. Emily Rogers doesn't have a 100%. Nobody has a 100% track record except this weird random dude on Twitter, which makes me believe maybe he works for Nintendo. I don't know. But uh, what's interesting, I think, about all of this is that Game Over Jesse has actually been really right on a lot of things. Skyward Sword HD before launch, he called it, had the source on it, was correct. Um, you know, before it was announced, I should say. Uh, stuff that was in the Nintendo Direct, had a source on it, called it, was correct. Uh, Age of Calamity, Hyrule Warriors, he was one of the only people in the world talking about that game possibly existing. He has been really on top of this Zelda stuff to a level that <laughs> really makes me jealous because, well, I consider myself to be somewhat of a Zelda expert, not quite as much as I used to be back when Zelda was literally the only thing I covered uh, and, and did for a living as editor-in-chief of a popular Zelda website. Uh, that was literally my job and career at one point, believe it or not. So I, I'm, I reckon myself to be a bit of an expert. Uh, I got to say that... Uh, He's pretty good with his predictions on this stuff. So if he thinks it's coming sooner than you believe, if he's kind of setting it up that it's coming this year, maybe you want to pay attention to that. All right, folks, I'm Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm glad we got to talk about Breath of the Wild 2 today because I'm mad, mad hyped for that game. I mean, what Zelda fan isn't, uh, except for those that maybe didn't like Breath of the Wild. Then I, maybe you're looking forward to Skyward Sword HD more. Maybe you're looking forward to whatever else Nintendo has up their sleeve, from the Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD to maybe a possible brand new top-down 2D perspective game. I have no idea. You guys let me know what you're looking forward to from the big N when it comes to the Zelda series. You know what? That's all I got for you. Be sure to enter that giveaway if you haven't already. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe. And whew, lots more Zelda to come, I'm sure. But hey, there's other stuff I want to talk about as well. So stay tuned because uh, we got an interesting video about Square Enix coming up later today. All right, folks. Catch you in the next video.